Good morning, guys. It's another beautiful day in Florida. I got my coffee and my best friend over here. Hi, Sister Sue. Say hello. Yeah. How you been doing? Oh, Mandy girl. Mandy's been amazing. I am definitely praying that it is going to start cooling off soon. I'm ready for the fall. I don't know about you guys, but um, I'm ready to start using my fire pit and my jacuzzi. <laughs> So we are officially saying goodbye to another baby. Congratulations, Auntie Frona. Little baby Samuel has found his new family and he is going to be going home today to her and I'm going to miss this little guy. I am super obsessed with his kit. I do have a baby Samuel in my collection, but I just loved this sweet baby. So pretty. I love the way his hair and lashes and everything turned out. And Auntie Frona is a first time reborn mommy. She is a subscriber to this channel. Guys, please check to make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, YouTube has been unsubscribing people from channels just randomly. Nobody knows why. So please, please, please make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, it's totally free. Just click the subscribe button. It helps my channel out a lot. Also, we're almost to 9K subscribers. And once we hit 9,000 subscribers, I will be doing a live with you guys. I will do it on a Saturday. Um... Also, when we get to 10K, we're gonna be doing a Reborn giveaway. So guys, hit that subscribe button. There's a lot coming up once we reach some goals on this channel to get things going. And let's get on to the video. I am going to do, uh, I'm gonna pack this little guy up first because I gotta get him off to the post office. I also have to pack up baby Rylan to go to Auntie Curry's house and and this little girl I want to do a changing with because an auntie sent me a cute outfit that looks very vintage and I would like to dress her in it because I just think she would look so beautiful in the colors. So let's do a little changing with this girl. So I am getting this sweet little baby boy all packed up to go home to his new mommy. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to be sending home with him. But I was getting him dressed into this cute little onesie and diaper and little socks. And I just couldn't resist filming his chunky little thighs. Oh my goodness. You have the sweetest little thighs ever. So this is the Samuel kit by Cassie Brace, reborn by myself. And I like just love the chunk to this baby's thighs. This baby also has chunky thighs just like baby peaches that is also a cassie brace uh kit and i just like i'm so obsessed with their cute little chunky thighs maybe it's because i had bigger babies like my babies were huge when they were born so they were like little chunky monkeys like little butter balls i remember calling them that so just thought i would show you guys before he goes home super cute so now that i have baby samuel all packed up and ready to go home to his new mommy i have little baby laura here on the changing table because I want to change her into a cute little vintage outfit but also she just looked so sad in the crib all by herself so I have her up here on the changing table hanging out for now and we're gonna get her changed into something really cute so I have a sweet little baby Laura here and I am gonna get her changed into a cute little vintage outfit I have a little vintage diaper for her super cute that I want to change her into. Love this little diaper. Um, probably from the 1990s, I suppose. It's uh, one of the plastic diapers, one of the older ones. So um, don't know exactly what year it's from. I have this cute little bonnet for her. 
and I'm gonna put her in this little health techs t-shirt. It's zero to three months. And I'm just gonna put that under this cute little outfit with the little tomatoes on it. I think she would be so cute in this. I also have this cute little vintage rattle for her, super adorable. I have these cute little ruffly socks and I have these wash and wear baby deer shoes. Somebody said to me the other day that they wish they could stay home all day and play with their Reborns like I do. <laughs> and I don't guys, I know it seems like all I do is have fun all day in the nursery uh, when I'm in here, but I'm working. I literally will work for like 12 hours a day in here. Uh, when I was first starting out, it was even longer hours, like 15 hours a day I was painting or filming. Um, and advertising my babies to sell, listing them on websites. There's a lot that goes into it, but I do get it where, you know, she was feeling like she wasn't getting any time with her dolls and <clears throat> sometimes real life can get in the way of your reborns, um, in the way of your collecting and just having fun and enjoying your dolls. We pay uh, a lot of money for these babies and it can get kind of sad when you don't have really any time for them. I do notice a lot of people selling off their collections and they say, well, I just don't have any time for my collection. And I think that's super sad <laughs> to see. Um, I wouldn't just go sell off your collection. I see people that, that just sell their entire collection and all their things. And then when they do have time, they are trying to get back into it again they're trying to find or replace those dolls again that they sold so um life can get crazy sometimes we go through different seasons in our life and i wouldn't get too crazy and sell off your entire collection maybe sell off a few or you know try to keep a couple of your dolls in case things do slow down i just wouldn't jump to do that um For me, if I think I want to sell a doll or, you know, I went through phases where I was in nursing and I wasn't feeling like I was able to spend any time in the nursery at all, um, I would recommend putting your dolls away for a while, maybe wrapping them up safely, put a little diaper on their head, dress them in some protective PJs and wrap them in a blanket and put them in like a storage box for a little while. I'm guessing this is a size one diaper. It's looking a little big. I put one of these on baby Chase and it fit him perfect. Hopefully this one fits Laura pretty good. So this is Laura by Bonnie Brown and I really wanna do a comparison video of her and another kit that I got that's by Bonnie Brown and Adri Stoetti. But yeah, I you just have to, um, Put a little time aside, maybe just in the evening after the kids go to bed, if you have kids, or maybe on your day off, you know, just put a little half hour aside. I know that when I got really busy in nursing and I didn't even feel like I had a day off or any time to myself and I was so exhausted in the evenings, I remember just coming home from work and just to decompress from all the stress, I would you know, try to do that flip that medical staff does. You know, we try to flip our switch from work into family mode um, and vice versa. We go from family mode to work mode on the way to work. So look at that, so cute. Um, I would just come in the nursery and just hold the baby to like decompress from the day, from all of the stress. And I remember that just being so soothing and so nice, like just to kind of have like 15 minutes in here to hold a baby or to change a baby and um, be able to release that pressure from the day so that I could leave the nursery and go back out to my husband and my kids and just 
be the person that they needed me to be for them that I wanted to be for them. You know, you don't wanna be that person that's stressed out that comes home from work and takes it out on your family um, or you're just in a sour mood from everything that's happened from the day. So um, sometimes it's just taking 15 minutes a day just to hold a baby or enjoy a baby or um, change a baby. I know that that brings a lot of stress relief for me to sit and just sit with a baby and enjoy it just or just change a baby, dress a baby into a new outfit. I don't know. Do you guys ever feel that way? Like sometimes you just don't have time for your hobby. Sometimes life can be that way and that's okay. Things will change. Um, so just like enjoy the moment and you know, things are always changing. Oh, she looks so cute in this little bonnet. Matches so cute with this little outfit. Oh, that's adorable. So sweet. I'm gonna push these little socks up. They've got so much ruffle to them. So she looks so cute with these little shoes. Can you see those little shoes on her feet? Oh my goodness. So cute. I also have a little vintage pacifier. It's Precious Moments. And I thought that would look so cute. Oh my goodness. And then I have this little vintage baby rattle. It has like, um, these are soft, almost like silicone for babies that are teething. It's like a teether and a rattle. So cute. Oh my goodness, how sweet is that? I love the rattle, but then you can't see her little tomatoes on her outfit. We're gonna have to find a way to give her that little rattle. So you can still see the little tomato. There we go, how cute is that? So I have a little Miss Laura up here on the changing table. This is the cute little vintage blanket she's laying on. I have some cute little vintage toys in the background. This one is super sweet from Fisher Price. So super cute. I even have this sweet little vintage bottle for her. So baby Laura is still looking for her new mommy. She is listed on the website, kidstocradlesnursery.com. If you are interested in this sweet baby, go check out her photos on the website. I will have more babies available soon. I am still working on the Bonnie Brown twins. So go check out the website if you're interested in a baby. There should be a total of five available, hopefully by Sunday. So go check them out. Congratulations to all the new mommies out there. Um, super happy that you've received your babies and that you love them. And I will see you guys on my next video. You guys take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.